Hey everyone, and in this video, let's talk about how to log apps with a Face ID on your iPhone. And it's kind of a bit more complicated because let me show you how it works. You go to your settings and uh, navigate to the uh, Face ID and passcode section. So you're gonna type in your passcode and now you can see that you have the Face ID set up for iPhone unlock and whatever things you want. But here you also have other apps. For me, it's nine apps. When I tap on it, I can see that all the apps have access to Face ID. So whenever I open up my notes or PayPal or some other apps, for example, WhatsApp even, and those apps have access to Face ID. I can disable in here, of course, for each of the apps that I want. However, you have to have an app which supports it from, by default, I mean from developers. If it's a sensitive app, for example, PayPal or payment apps, some investing apps, bank apps, whatever it is, these uh, need to have access to the, the biometrics because they need to make sure that the app is safe. If uh, whatever app developer tries to implement it in here, then of course you can use it here. But if not, you simply don't have the option to. I cannot, for example, decide that I want to have calendar locked with the face ID and simply doesn't work that way. Apple doesn't allow me to decide that I don't want to open a Google Calendar unless I scan my face with Face ID. It doesn't work that way. So like I say, only these couple of apps that are like built in or have the Face ID functionality built in can be used for you to unlock it this way. However, you've probably noticed that there are many like weird tutorials out there that show you how you can technically do it, but it's just not like an official feature. Anyways, I'm going to show you one of the ways that uses a shortcuts app from iOS. So you can see the shortcuts app. It's a free one from the app store. It's from Apple. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how you can actually lock your apps this way technically, but yeah, anyways, you're going to click here on automations here at the bottom and create personal automation. Scroll down and find the app. Make sure that is open is selected and now choose which apps you would technically want to lock. So for me, let's say that I'm going to scroll down here. It's going to be Google Calendar. So hit the done and move forward. Click next. And now here in the add action, search for the timer. So start timer here, tap on it. And I misclicked here, so no, not a message or anything. Just set the timer and I'm going to set it to one second. So it's going to be one second and hit next. Now don't ask before running, disable this, don't ask. And also don't notify when run, so just turn it off. Click done and now you're pretty much good to go. The next thing you got to do is to come back to your apps and open up the clock app. Go here to the timer section and when the timer ends, tap on it and scroll all the way to the bottom because here you have the, all the tones, but here you also have stop playing. So choose stop playing, hit set. Now, if you come back, and here is my Google Calendar. So what's going to happen when I tap on it, as you can see, one second and I'm back to the lock screen. So you're pretty much here at the lock screen, which means that, that if you want to use the Google Calendar, now you have to authenticate yourself with the face ID, as you can see right here. And now I can actually use the Google Calendar. If I leave the app and open it up, it should repeat the same process. So again, you're going to be brought back to the lock screen and you have to authenticate yourself once again so this is one of the ways how you can do this but like i say it's not like a very convenient one it's it's kind of a weird way to go about it however it does work so if you want to use it go ahead but these apps that i showed you have the feature built in anyways guys i uh, hope the video helped you out if you for example notice that when i tapped here and it comes back to the lock screen. You can see that I have my custom text, which says right on the lock screen. So I can just tap on it and I write whatever I want. Like I'm going to tap here and just remove it. I'm going to say subscribe or whatever. And now I'm going to come back and it literally says subscribe on my lock screen. So if you want to add your custom text to your lock screen, then check out this video right here where I exactly show you how you can do this and I explain it deeply.